Hi everyone, it's Ray with Tarot Living. So today we're actually going to film oh two or three videos. So the first one I'm going to do is actually a review of the Impressionist Tarot. And this is actually, it's just been released about two weeks ago. But before I do that, this is my little one Lily. And so Lily is blind, she's only got one eye. And that eye is not working, so Lily is blind. But she's 14 and she's my little munchkin. She's doing quite well. They get around fairly well. Blind. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so you have to do um, certainly some helping out of the little munchkins when they get to that age. But So anyway, today I'm going to do a review on the Impressionist Tarot. And this tarot was actually by Corinne Kenner. It's uh, designed by Corinne Kenner. And the artwork is by Arturo Pica and it is published by Low Scarabio. And there it is. Beautiful front cover. That's actually the sun card. It kind of looks like the moon card to me in a way, but it's the sun card, I believe. So let's get into this. It's actually a really uh, neat deck. There's a couple of little issues with it that I found that I'm gonna tell you about. But I think that it's a deck really worth um, taking a look at. I don't know if I'd recommend it for beginners, and I think I actually read a review on Eclectic Tarot that said exactly the same thing, and that was my thinking too. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But let's talk about the basics of the Impressionist Tarot. So the idea is that they were taking the 19th century Impressionistic artistic movement and um, type of art at that time, and they're translating it into tarot cards, obviously. And you can see that the tarot cards are created so that it's like a picture frame. That's the Three of Swords. Pretty cool, right? Um, it's a picture frame that's around. So I think that they've really designed this card, this, this deck, to be aesthetically. Like it's all about the aesthetics to me because you can see how difficult it is to see the number at the bottom. I have to put it right up. Do you see how... Okay, so now we see a three. That's how hard it is for me to read it. <laughs> so that is my problem with the deck. However, um, what I did, and I know a lot of people wouldn't do it, but I actually did use felt, and I, I made them darker because I'd really like to be able to use this deck, and I cannot read the numbers, especially the major arcana, which are actually in Roman numerals at the top. So Roman numerals are even worse, you know, because sometimes you can't, like for example, um, here's the fool. See now, imagine if that's like a V and a one, and is it a one, one, or, you know, two, is it five, is it six? You know, it, it's pretty difficult to read them. So you can see actually at the bottom, I used a felt, and I actually colored in darker. And most people wouldn't do that, and that's totally fine. Here's another example of how I did that, four of wands. So I just put four W because it was too hard for me to read. I, I couldn't read them. Anyways, let's get to the positives though. The positives are that it's actually a really interestingly designed deck and it's a really neat deck. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. We've talked about that it's inspired by the impressionistic painters. Now, some of the painters that is specifically um, the the artwork is specifically taken from and you know reworked, I guess one could say, is Edward uh, Manet, Claude Monod, Renoir, Edgar Dugas, uh, Vincent Van Gogh, and Saint Paul Gauguin, I believe it is that you say. Um, and I think that's about it. So those are the main um, art artists that the actual images were taken from and then reworked. And you're going to see how they're reworked, and it's pretty neat, actually. I'm not sure how they get around all those copyrights, and I don't know how that, that all works, to be honest with you, but not my issue. So let's look at the swords first, because I think actually the swords are one of the suits that I think is pretty well... Um, demonstrated or pretty well depicted compared to maybe some of the other ones. So I've already shown you the Three of Swords. So we all know, so Van Gogh, so sorry I should have said, so each artist is responsible for one of the suits. So Van Gogh 
is he is the swords suit, which kind of makes sense because he was a little bit tortured, right? So anyway, um, so his sunflowers, of course, are famous sunflowers, you know, from Van Gogh. So they've used a sunflower with three swords through it for the depiction. So that's a great example. And this one, I'm actually going to show you the Ten of Swords. Now, I actually don't like that the guy has his arms behind his neck and he's sort of kind of relaxing. And then it's the Ten of Swords and you can see how I put 10 S at the bottom because I, I couldn't read it. Um, but do you see how this card is actually a painting and I'm going to put a laden picture. You're going to be seeing that picture right now. And this is a rework of Van Gogh's painting. So it is very similar. I think there's two people in it. I'll, I'll put it up as you, as you can see it right now. Um, but, uh, you know, they've added the Ten of Swords. So they've kind of taken a painting and they've reworked it so that it depicts a tarot card. So pretty neat, right? Like, Okay, and here are some more swords that are the Van Gogh impressions. So this is Seven of Swords. So I don't know if, I, offhand, I wasn't able to find a painting that looked exactly like that. I think, you know, maybe there is one out there, or maybe they're just doing it in Van Gogh style. But look at this one. I mean, this is great. Ace of Swords, very Van Gogh. Eight of Swords. Which one is this? Two of Swords. See, I don't have my coloring at the bottom. See how hard it is to see? I haven't yet printed that in. And then just, I'll show you more Major Arcana later, but I noticed the death card, they actually used Van Gogh's because the Major Arcana are actually a mixture of a variety of different um, artists. So they've used Van Gogh for the death card. So that's Swords. Um, I'll show you more Major Arcana in a minute. So really cool, right? Like just using one of the artists using his style of art and creating tarot cards. I think it's pretty neat. Okay, so cups are actually um, represented through the artwork of Monet, Claude Monet. So I'm going to show you several of them and I'll insert. For this one I'm going to insert. I'm going to actually put it over here because I'm inserting the picture on this other one of the other corners. So that picture, that painting, a very famous uh, painting of the woman with the umbrella um, and so that one is depicting the Queen of Cups. I'm going to actually keep it over, kind of middle. Sorry. I'm going to keep it in the middle section like that. Um, so you can see the, the original painting or one of them. I think there's several views of that painting that he probably did. So you can see how it's been reworked. So pretty neat. Queen of Cups, I think that's a great Queen of Cups. Here's Five of Cups. I, you know, I don't have paintings from Monet for each and every one of the cards. I don't know if there is an, you know, a painting specifically for each one or if it's in the style of. I'm sure some of them are just in the style of. I mean, very much like something like that would be in the style of, I'm sure. Or perhaps that scenery behind, maybe the cups have just been added and the scenery behind can be found. I certainly don't have the time to look for, you know, each and every painting. Um, so here's another one. It's two of cups. So really neat, like beautiful, right? And in the style of Monet, I'm surprised they didn't do a lily in water for the cup, the ace of cups, or some something along those lines a little bit more. But anyway, that's okay. Really beautiful. Look at that one. That's very beautiful. Nine of cups. Definitely, and, and I not only like the depiction of this one, but it's really in, in the impressionistic style and very beautiful. Here's kind of a water lily sort of thing. The Ten of Cups with the rainbow, isn't that beautiful? So you can see the ten. You can see the ten on this one a little bit better than some cards. Really nice. Hey? And this is, I think this is the page. I don't, I can't remember if the knights are on horses. I'll have to check. I think that's the page, actually, of cups. So that is the cups that are represented by Monet-inspired artwork. Pretty neat, right? I mean, it is a very interesting and lovely idea. Okay, so then we're going to go now to pentacles. 
Okay, so pentacles are actually represented by the artwork of Edgar Dugas. D-E-G-A-S. I think you say Dugas or Dugas. Um, he was the fellow who did, I'm going to put it over here because I'm actually going to add in another picture in picture of the original. I think that painting might be called the Star, a very famous painting of a ballerina. He was um, quite obsessed with painting ballerinas and so he's got the pentacles area so a lot of um, you know the area of your physical body and uh, your health and you know anything to do with the physicalities of life and you know, finances and all that sort of stuff so um, so you've got a couple of ballerinas so here's the two of pentacles again a ballerina and he was quite obsessed with them so Here's the Three of Pentacles. So that almost looks like the Three of Cups, but it's not. It's the Three of Pentacles. So that's why I say the, um, the impressions are a little bit different. And here's another ballerina-inspired or ballet-inspired um, piece of artwork. It's actually the Four of Pentacles, which is a completely, you know, different depiction from Rider Waite, although there's a man, and he is sitting, and so it does represent... Um, stationary. Uh, there is a line through which creates kind of a, a square shape in a sense and it looks like it's bows from, you see the ballerina have bows? Four bows are on the wall so not dancing anymore. I'm not sure. I'm making it up as I go because I mean I, I haven't read with these cards very much they just came out but I wanted you to be able to see them. Here's the Queen of Pentacles so that's great. So again, this is Dugas, D-E-G-A-S. Seven of Pentacles, really nice. Eight of Pentacles, now this is great. Eight of Pentacles is usually the guy who's kind of working doing iron work or um, you know masonry kind of work, or you know he's sort of working very hard and toiling at something and using a lot of his energy over a long period of time. And so they're doing, I believe, ironing of um, different garments or um, pieces of fabric. So really cool. Oh, okay, here's a knight. So maybe they all are on horses. So that's the knight of pentacles. And he's very, he's great. And here's the page of pentacles. Okay. Nine of pentacles. Really beautiful. Again, ballerina, ballet. So there's a theme there. Um, so that is pentacles. So really nice, like beautiful, beautiful artwork. All right, so now we're going to go on to wands. And wands are inspired by Manet. So that is the artist. And I'm going to show you actually two that I found the actual artwork that is specifically it goes with it. Okay, hang on, I have to see. Okay. So I'm going to do a picture in picture. I'm going to show you the actual artwork. So pretty neat. That's four of wands. You can see how I've written on my cards. I know some people would freak out over that. But you know what? They're only $19 on Amazon. So, And if I can't read them, then I can't use them, right? So here's another one where um, this particular painting I did find. And so I'm going to do an insert of a picture. It's ten of wands. Ace of Wands is interesting. They use kind of a cane, I believe it is, which I don't think really depicts Ace of Wands well because wands are usually vitality and energy and all that sort of stuff. But I'd have to read up on it more. I mean, I don't want to <clears throat> make any kind of snap judgment on it. Five of Wands is excellent. I did not offhand find a painting that was exactly like that. And <clears throat> as I say, I don't have time to look for any further ones. So. You'll have to look them up. Seven of Wands, isn't that awesome? So. Six of Wands. All right, so that gives you an idea of the court cards. And let me just say that one of the challenges of reading which card it is is also, you know, how do you know which suit it is? So you see that little tiny thing up at the top up here? Little wand right there. That is the description of wand. Here is the cup at the very top. You see how difficult it is? It is for me anyway. This is a pentacle way up at the top. I'm sure they did it so that it would not detract 
from them looking like a painting. And here's the backs of the cards, by the way. Kind of the back of a painted painting frame. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so now we're going to go on to the Major Arcana. The Major Arcana are a mixture of a variety of different artists that are um, highlighted. One of the artists that's highlighted is Paul Gauguin. Gauguin, I believe you say it. Now, do you remember the Tahitian girls paint the painting that was recently sold for three hundred million? That was Gauguin, and you will you will recognize his art immediately upon seeing it. If you have seen any of those paintings or the Tahitian girls, so that is the magician. Isn't that gorgeous? Really beautiful. Here is the High Priestess. And so you, you just know by the two. And so there isn't, they don't have them written on the bottom. Like if they had had them written at least, you know, it would have been easier. Which one is this? Oh, this is the Lovers. And that's Gauguin as well. I hope I'm saying his name right. Uh, here's the Fool, which is done in Van Gogh, and I actually think that is supposed to be Van Gogh right there. Mm. This one I showed you right at the beginning because it's on the front. And so this is actually the Sun card. So you can see that 19 way down at the bottom there. I think they're at the top too. Isn't that beautiful? It looks more like the moon to me, but it's absolutely stunning. And they've used it as the front of the box. Tower. Oh, here's the Devil card. Wheel of Fortune with Wheel. Temperance. It's really beautiful. And I don't know which artist. That might be Manet. I think. That, or Renoir. I'm not sure. This one was the most confusing card. It's actually the Hanged Man. And it's done in the style of Monet. But I actually had it upside down initially because I couldn't read the numbers. And then I realized, oh, right. So then I put my numbers at the bottom. And so now I can read it. Oh, this happens to be the Nine of Swords. I'm just going to show you because it came up. So that's really cool. Here is the Moon. 15, 18, yeah, the Moon card. That's neat. The two trees and the path, so very similar to the moon card. Here's the strength. And, oh, here's the hermit. Done in Van Gogh style. And this one as well. And that is the emperor. Isn't that beautiful? Really nice emperor. Really like that. Beautifully done. This one I'm not really sure of. Hierophant. I'm not quite getting it. I'd have to read the book. I don't want to make a judgment until I read the book. But I think that's all I'm going to show you for today. All in all, I think that I don't think it's a deck for beginners. I don't. Because I can barely figure out, you know, exactly the cards without having to write on them. So I don't think for beginners it's a good thing. However, if you're an experienced, you know, tarot card reader or you're not needing to have it written at the bottom, you know, two of cups, and you are able to pick up images easily and you're really into art and you love something with aesthetic beauty and uh, kind of a love for the arts, I think this might be a deck for you. It is really a beautiful deck. Um, I almost think they could have made the cards bigger to highlight the art more. But, you know, I would actually give it a go. Uh, I think, if nothing else, I honestly feel like this is a collector's deck. If, you know, if you don't think you're going to read with it, but you want a really beautiful, interesting deck in your collection, I'd grab it. I think they're really beautiful. And I definitely think worth the money because you can get it on Amazon. I think I only paid 18 or $19 for it. There's the Four of Cups. It's really charming. It's a great deck. Okay, well, there you go. That's my review on the Impressionist Tarot. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching Tarot Living.